Hey, welcome back. For uh, those of you that watched my channel before, this is uh, Rick from the channel and Now What? And we did a, a video about a month ago called The Ultimate Tiny Home. This is the upstairs bedroom. I'm just going to pan down through now so you get a bit of a view on what it looks like from up here on the stairs. So we're looking down at the sink that was uh, being built car. before. And just down below me is the stairs that we'll be heading down. I don't know why John keeps sticking around. <laughs> Just to give you a quick idea of what the inside of the tiny homes look we like at Rolling Bear Tiny out. Homes, I'm going to invite gonna John, to the owner, something. in in a second gonna here, have to and we'll take this. it from there. We're just outside here having a quick look uh, at uh, Rolling Bear Tiny Homes at their, their newest home. It's just going out actually tomorrow, so I'm glad we got here today, and uh, my friend John who will be in the picture. Oh, there's John. Hey, John, hey, how, how are you? you? Doing? I'm good. John, uh, you just got back from a motorcycle trip to I the did. East Coast. How was it? It was fantastic, Rick, except about 5,000 kilometers in eight days. That was a lot. Well, especially at our age, you know, I hate harping back to that age <laughs> thing. But uh, anyway, uh, nice to be back here with you, John. I, I want to have a look inside uh, what we're looking at uh, yeah. behind you there. But tell me something um, before we go inside, because I'm always amazed at what you do and, and how this comes out. What size is the unit that we're going into? This one is 26 feet by 10. Well, so a little feels, bit wider than your average trailer. Okay, it feels like double that when we're inside. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, this is the one that when we filmed the Ultimate Tiny Home about a month ago, this is the one that had that was being built for a uh, an Indian artist. Am I correct? That's correct. Oh, cool. So you guys that are watching, if you saw this before, now you're going to see the finished product. John, let's have a look inside. All right, come on in, Rick. Hey, welcome back. For uh, those of you that watched my channel before, this is uh, Rick from the channel and now what? And we did a, a video about a month ago called The Ultimate Tiny Home. This is the upstairs bedroom. I'm just gonna pan down through now so you get a bit of a view on what it looks like from up here on the stairs. So we're looking down at the sink that was uh, being built car. before. And just down below me is the stairs that will give you a quick idea of what the inside of the Tiny homes look we like that rolling bear tiny out. homes. I'm going to invite gonna John, to the owner, something. in in a second gonna here, and we'll take this. it from there. So if you recall in the previous uh, one where we were looking at this, it was unfinished. It had some fiberglass pink in the walls. That white sink was there, but there was no cabinetry there, which you see now. Um, I just, uh, in the beginning part of this, came down from up above there. There's your stairs. They double as storage. We're going to go in momentarily here and have a look at the, uh, at the bathroom and whatnot there too. But... I just want to pan around because if you recall, this is being made for an Indian artist, and those are um, basically painting shelves for her to put up her artwork. Hey, John. Hey, how are you doing, Rick, again? Good, buddy. How are you? <laughs> this is a beautiful job you've done here. You told me uh, 10 by 26. Yep. It certainly doesn't look like that. Now, folks, what you got to realize you're looking at here, there's no furniture in here, and it's, it's um, there's nothing on the walls, so it might sound a little bit hollow in the background, but... Uh, uh, John, what's going on with this one? Is it scheduled to go out here pretty soon? It goes out in the next couple of days. And what we do, Rick, is we have the client come here. They're coming tomorrow morning to make sure they just sort of check around, make sure they're happy with everything. And uh, if there's any adjustments or whatever, we do that for them. Okay. Yeah. Now, I hope you don't mind I ask, and you don't have to answer, but um, when we're talking a dollar figure for something like this, roughly, where are we at? They all vary, Rick, for this 26 footer, uh, uh, 26 by eight and a half would be about 125,000. Okay. This one here is about 150. That's Canadian dollars, right? Uh, that's Canadian dollars. Okay. Yeah. So uh, they, they are priced well. That was our intention when we started out six years ago was to give the value for a reasonable price. And we have stuck to that. So what we're going to do here, guys, we're just going to take a little bit of a pan through here again. I'm going to show you what the bathroom looks like. There's some interesting features there. The water's running in this. This thing's ready to go, and it's going out tomorrow, you said, right? Yes, it is. First of all, they're going to inspect it tomorrow morning, and then hopefully it goes out tomorrow, if not the next day. Yep. Okay, John, let's just have a look at, uh, at the bathroom and some other features here. So we've just stopped in here to the bathroom because I want to show you actually how much space we have. Oh, there you go. There we go. Got the light, light on. Yeah. And uh, so you got a, a full-size toilet there. Yep. Um, a beautiful sink that I see here. 
Um, John, just step over here if you could. And okay. Hey, you can see me in the picture there. there. I'm in the mirror. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, show me the uh, the shower here because this is what I saw that I found was very unique. Let me just step back for a sec. So here's your shower. Although these are called tiny homes, there's really nothing small about this. John, show me how that functions. It's rather a nice piece yeah, of Yeah, so as I said, Rick, we try to uh, give the value. So we go up a grade on when it comes to a single shower. I mean, a lot of people put in the single inserts, but uh, it's oh, got a wow. kind of a beveled edge to it. and uh, It's a semicircular shower. Yeah, yeah exactly. Wow. And a good size. There's lot, lots of room in there and some shelves there for your soaps and, and, and things. So now remember folks when you're watching this it's Rolling Bear Tiny Homes very easy to find rollingbeartinyhomes.com uh, John is the owner and uh, last time that we did a video John consented to give anybody that uh, contacts him lets them know that they saw it on the channel and now what which is this that uh, you can have propane as a no cost added upgrade does that offer still hold John well I got no choice Rick you've got it on tape now and I knew you were going to bring it up again <laughs> <laughs> so keep watching guys we're just going to step outside here so what you're looking at out here is what i call sort of a it's a half full-size fridge so tons and tons of room in this thing um let's just open it up and yep have a look inside yeah you've got lots of room to store anything you like and, and right. up above and you you've got, got the, the freezer, up the top freezer here, section so. up top so this is a real nice feature all stainless steel all good quality these are all lg knowing my friend john uh everything that gets put into this is of the utmost quality John, please explain what you've done here with the stairs. Yeah, so what we've created here is, I mean, storage in these smaller units is really important. So you got to kind of coordinate things so it works, everything works together. So we created these, uh, actually, this is custom made stairs, staircase, where you've got all this uh, nice cabinetry of storage for hanging things. Uh, you've got extra space here. I mean, this could be a pantry if you wanted. Uh, I, I think my artist had said she was gonna, even going to lay canvas paintings in there, but okay. whatever works for you. Um, you know, a nice little place down here for shoes or if that works for you. Uh, and then these open sort of shelves here that can be used for whatever tickles your fancy. Excellent. And these are all self-closing. So, and, yeah. and if you remember, folks, um, the, uh, the cabinetry here just in, yep. below John here, it's what I call uh, whisper close. Uh, not necessarily the correct name for it, but it, they all close quiet. John, if you could just give us a quick demo there. Of, yeah, just of the of the door itself, that kind of, yeah. So you let it go and it doesn't make that banging noise. It just makes you really feel comfortable in here. And uh, I know that uh, that your water's running there in the back and you yeah, got your, All the uh, water works here. We just had to test. Oh, he took off the he, hose. Actually. He turned off the water. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> Good job, Rick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we did test it this morning. We're, we make sure all the hot water on demand works and... Uh, our gas stove and so on so that all gets tested before it goes so this is your your gas stove so when this gets delivered um everything is set up properly everything is functioning when it's delivered to the person is there john any sort of a warranty that is offered to people when they purchase one of these from you yeah i mean structure is certainly no issue i mean we're not even afraid to say lifetime so because it's all architecturally approved and so on uh, when it comes to, we give a year for you to live in it to, to make sure that everything functions properly. And uh, each, each item would be warranted, such as the appliances and so on. Okay, excellent. Well, uh, folks, again, I want to thank you. This is a bit shorter video than the last one we made, but I want to thank you for joining myself and John on uh, this latest version. Uh, this is the one that I'm calling the finished Ultimate Tiny Home. It's absolutely beautiful. The... The photography I've done doesn't do it any justice. You got to see this for you yourself. That remote fan that's at three different speeds. Oh, you got a remote fan. Okay, so yeah. you don't have to play around with it. Uh, everything is functional. And what is that uh, wood material on the ceiling there, John? What is that made of? What is that cedar? Yeah, that's actually pine, believe it or not. Oh, it's pine. Yeah, and we've sort of given a custom look with a sort of a bluish kind of greenish stain that matches the kitchen theme. Uh, she'll be putting obviously a painting up there. Uh, but over here on the left, Rick, it's important to mention that that is what you call a split pump. So that provides both heat and air conditioning. Oh, it's both. Yeah. So, right. And then we've got the backup baseboards uh, for the real cold winters if it's necessary. Okay. Yeah. And John, one last time for anybody that's watching, how do they get in touch with you? Uh, best way is to uh, um, go through the website or you could even call me at 604 446 9242. 
So there you go. You got the direct number. Um, have a look at these Rolling Bear Tiny Homes, guys. They're absolutely amazing. And John, I want to thank you again for your time. Let's uh, do what we usually do. Let's go have lunch. It's on you. All right. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thanks, Rick. Guys uh, from, uh, from Surrey, British Columbia, and because I just came back from Mexico, hasta la vista. We'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for joining <laughs> us today.